we got here. Bit of a size of this one. Whoa, it's a tuna. Long tail, I think. There we go. Mine of the bag. <laughs> That's a uh, nice long tailed tuna. It's just gone 85 centimeters, so nice little specimen there. The technique for catching bust up or catching fish in the bust ups is obviously you've got to find them first. So the easiest way to find them is look for the birds. You know, if you can't see the white caps uh, on the on the top of the water, which is where the fish are actually you know hitting the bait on the surface, look for the birds. The birds normally point to where they are in the thickest con congregation of bait and, and closest to the surface. So. And the main, the main trick really was the ski. It's very easy to catch these things. If you use a, uh, a decent lure, something like a Halco 65 gram uh, slug and um, 55, 65, it's probably about the size. So about, you know, this long, which is about seven centimeters with, a, with its treble. And uh, with that sort of weight too, you can cast them a fair distance. And uh, so the idea obviously is just get upwind because they're always feeding into the wind. Uh, the, the current normally is with the wind, you know, in most cases it might be a bit sideways as well, but they'll generally feed into the wind. The birds will be flying into the wind, so you know which way that's going as well. So just get upwind, don't come up from behind, don't come up the side if you can avoid it. Go straight in, um, upwind, and then cast into the bust up. You know, when they come up to the surface and are hitting it, it's when they're most vulnerable. So cast into, if you can land right in the middle of the bust up, then you've got the best chance of hooking one and I actually got one on my first cast there so I uh, did that did that basically that technique is go straight up in front all right cast into the bust up and then one like crazy and hold on because you can get some big fish Okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good hit. Turn the engine off. So I'm actually using fish to pull my boat around, pull the ski around, so I can keep it sideways. So what I'm using is a uh, 30 pound braid. And um, so Sarah goes to 6,000. And the rod's a dual eight foot casting, well, it's just called a dual eight foot snapper rod, I think, but it's great for casting because of its length. And it's got enough backbone through it, as you can see. These are, yeah, these are decent fish. We're talking um, 80 to 80 centimetre to a metre long, long tail here. So that's about what you want for a casting rod, isn't it? For up here anyway, and the, these sort of pelagics. A little bit stronger if you had a... Um, Oh, this one's got a bit of a run. If you had a uh, GT on the line, you'd, you want something a bit stronger. These things put up a bit of fight, don't they? And the other thing I always do is, I just hate to lose a fish like this on lighter line, so I have a double uh, to the braid, the, probably where the braid joins the uh, leader. And I, sometimes I put a, as much leader as I can get in there without uh, getting fouled on the runners when I'm when I'm casting. This one's maybe a bigger one. That's a good try, don't they? Oh, this is a 
there's a bit seems a bit more decent this one yeah it's decent ah it's just a bigger one i think there's my double you can see it in the line there oops i'm mucking around with this i'm going to lose it i think Decent one. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a decent one. Ho oh, oh. ho! What are we? Uh, 90 something, just over the 90 centimeter. Decent size. It's a, just a tuner, but geez, it's got some power. That's oh, a long tail. Nice. We'll take that. Good size too, I think. If I get it, I bought, of course. I should have on here too. No, no. Get off. Ah, oh, busted it, bucked, busted it. What have I got over here then? a bit small or whatever it is. Yeah, it's another one. Well, I lost one. I might gaff this guy. Yes. Take him. go uh, first cast just about long tail tuna good size um, put up a good fight I actually uh, really mean I actually um, managed to cut myself on my knife and uh, I've got a bit of blood coming off me I think I've got more coming off me than the fish actually so <laughs> I've got to deal with that but uh, yeah I'll take that <laughs> 